Hello and welcome! In this video, I want to show you how to evaluate a function for various different values using our TI-85 or 86 calculator. So the idea is that we have a function and that we want to test it out for various different inputs. Now you might have seen this process before where you can just take these different values for x and, you know, plug them in. So you might be asking yourself, well, well, okay, what's the point of using the calculator on this? Well, if you want, let's go ahead and grab that calculator. You could just type this in as it is and actually get a value. So 19.5 times 2 squared minus 34.7 times 2 plus 40.6. There we go. So, you know, using that way, you do get an answer and it looks like it's about 49.2. But the idea is that, you know, if you have to do more than one input, you don't necessarily want to have to type out the entire function over and over again and keep putting in these guys. So instead, what we're going to do is going to have the calculator store this function and we're just going to feed these inputs one at a time. So let's go ahead and get this function stored into our calculator. To do that, press your graph button. Okay, this will bring up a lot of different options. You want f1, the y equals. And here's where we actually type in our function. So 19.5x caret 2 minus 34.7x plus 40.6. Enter. All right. So this basically gets it all stored in the calculator. And go ahead and press second graph. Go ahead and take a look at the graph screen. Now, this function is actually a little bit off our graph screen, so we can't see it, but don't worry, that's not going to affect anything. What we want to do now is start feeding it some inputs. So press your More button, and press it one more time until you see that option that says F1 for Eval. stands for Evaluate. Let's press that one. Okay? So it wants to know the input we want to feed into this function. Let's go ahead and try that 2 one more time. So X equals 2 press enter, and sure enough, down at the bottom it displays it, and it says, okay, when you use it in x equals 2, your output was a 49.2, which if we double check, yep, sure enough, that's exactly what we got last time. Now, the advantage is that I can also give it some other inputs. Let's press my graph button so I can get those options back up, press more twice, and evaluate, and this time, let's feed it a one-third. So I'm going to use my parentheses and do 1 divided by 3, and let's see what it gives me. Enter. All right, that didn't take long. So it has an approximation. It says this is about 31.2. And look at that. I didn't even have to type in the entire function. Let's do this one more time. So graph, more twice, F1 for eval, and then let's type in our input, 3.9. Enter. We read the y value for the output, and then we're basically done. And there you go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.